Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today is a soft launch for um, Go Safe Home. Uh, we have done, um, completed quite a few tasks for this prototype release. We are, as, as promised in the midterm report, we have uh, completed all the modules for MWH, uh, Gundala uh, modules that uh, we have completed um, the learning objectives, assessments, and, and uh, module in multiplayer games. Uh, apart from that, we have also done the application itself, the Go Safe Home Me, which is a white labeled uh, app, app of 3D High Mobi. The app, the app cons consists of the main page with various modes. We will, we will show to you shortly. And the other uh, important functions within the, within the app is the profile page where we collect the profile information of the users and it, which, which constantly updates while they play their games and the multiplayer games, the avatars are updated. We also have the leaderboard, which keeps track of the scores that are scored during the uh, module mini games. They have pre and post assessment games where the scores are being tracked. So there are, there are two kinds of leaderboard. One is the module leaderboard and the other is the grand leaderboard, which is on the home page or the main page, which kind of gives you the overall picture of your scores and your high score list. So you can see who's on the top. So, so Susie, I, I can't see your deck. Thanks, thanks for counting, Ben. Okay, cut number two here, go. Okay, <laughs> we start, no, right? I just, okay. Uh, yeah, so we, we will be demonstrating all the fun functions and features in our um, gosafehome.me app, where we have the main page, the profile page, leaderboard, achievements, and the reward system. And we also have various sub nodes like the Orchard, Orchard Road, Changi Airport, and Marina Bay Sands Center. So you'll also see some of the nodes that are not active yet. Uh, we would like to have more modules to fill up those. Yeah. And uh, we'll have the multiplayer lobby where we have the family family game and also the peer-to-peer -peer game. So the family game is targeted to the worker and his family. And there are some um, casual games over there as well. And you can chat, uh, chat among themselves over there. They can hang around. And um, we, we are planning to add some more uh, you know, fun elements in this game. As of now, it's very... Um, um, basic uh, features are already there. Uh, probably in pilot two, we plan to put some kind of um, uh, music where they can just go to a particular trigger and listen to some of their, um, you know, their country uh, music, like some Bollywood music or some Bangla music or some Chinese music or some, something like that. We're just thinking of it. I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, probably that will be pilot two. <laughs> yeah. And we have created user accounts as per, um, uh, GTS uh, request, we have created the user accounts to be the phone numbers of the players because uh, we, we foresee that most of them will not have an email address because our standard um, uh, user accounts are usually email addresses to cater to GTS and Ben's request. We have um, now uh, um, enabled the phone number as the user ID and the last four digits would be their password. So we have enabled that. And the games were not yet live. They, we have already uh, uploaded to the Google Play stores. Um, since it's the first uh, first time we are do, giving posting this app, can, the review is kind of taking um, long. There were some certain uh, queries and all that. So we are answering to that. Hopefully, it will be up before the pilot. Yes. But anyway, uh, the game will be in our live service. That is our production service. So. So uh, I will give it to my colleagues. So we know this year, we know this is our um, game designer from the tech team or the te tech designer. And Brian, Brian is our game designer and Shaw as well. Shaw is also our game designer and script writer. So I give it over to Vinod. Vinod will uh, show the game and he will explain to us all the features which I've um, put in this slide, the main page, the profile page, etc. So we know, you want to take it over? Sure. Yeah, so, my screen. All right, <coughs> uh, good evening, everybody. So today I will be going through the tech demo of the latest functionalities we have, we have added to the client. So right now I would like to share my screen with, uh, Susie, can you let, enable the post, the screen sharing? Yeah, done. 
<coughs> so I'm going to share my shared sound. All right, can everyone see my screen? Okay. Yes. All right, so uh, let me log in with this number. Uh, so I'm, I'm just showing that now we can log in with phone numbers. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is our latest uh, profile, and uh, this is our, our the basic the map. Uh, so this is where the players can choose which game that they want to play, and then they can play the game. So and this is the profile page. I will go from left. Uh, so this is the name, and we have not added any uh, data for Susie. So, but I can log out and show you a different user where this thing is built in. And this is the disk profile, and this is the profile avatar. This will change uh, when they choose a different avatar in a multiplayer game. You will notice it later when we play the lobby game. And this will be our leaderboard. So as you can see, uh, this uh, this consistency has played the most number of games and attained the highest score across all the game lists in the VF. Uh, so the placement is still here. This is the they are they can be what placement they are in, and then uh, these are the top ten scores. So this is a grand leaderboard, by the way. So it will show game uh, the rewards of, across all the games. We also have a in a game that level scoring also leaderboard, which I will show you later. So for now, let me just play this game. So, uh, like I said, <clears throat> we. Uh, our map goes by uh, by unlocking system where they have to play a particular game to unlock the next uh, map, uh, next location in the map. For example, now they have to finish this game in Changi in order to play the next game in Orchard. Can you guys hear the sound? We're not mm -hmm. hearing the sound. All right, give me a moment. How about now? Yeah, yeah. Is it too loud or is it just nice? It's nice, it's okay. Alright. Let's go! This is a construction site. You will spend most of your time working here. In Singapore, we take pride in making sure workers are safe. That is why you must take the training and pass the test before you can work. Let's start with some simple movement controls. Use your left thumb to move your character back and forth and your right thumb to turn your character accordingly. Head to Sam over there to continue. Well done! To interact with something, simply walk up to it. Remember these controls! You will now learn how to enter the training missions. Welcome to the Go Safe Home Wall Lab. When you see an area outlined with a dark circle, means the area is locked. Complete missions to unlock them. When you see an area outlined with a yellow circle, tap on them to access the missions inside. These red dots show which area has been unlocked and where should you go next. See the leaderboard and achievements buttons down below. You can click on them at any time to keep track of your progress. Finally, as you play through the missions, you will earn Global Training Tokens, or GTTs. The better you score in the gamelets, the more GTTs you'll earn. You can keep track of them by looking at the top right of the screen, and spend them on real-world rewards by clicking on the currency button. Have fun! Right, so now we know how well to done. play the game. Let's head to Orchard Road to play the Managing Work at Height missions! So let me carry on with them. Now we will be going back to the map, and then now you will see that Orchard has been unlocked. So now I don't like this, this profile, okay? This doesn't describe me. So I want to try the game again and get a different this profile. So I'm going to play this game. Uh, 
all right. Oh, you got the same thing. <laughs> so basically, I think it does describe my thing. But let's play again, right? This time I'm just gonna anyhow. Okay. So you slow down and let let them um. So in this portion, the players are actually choosing the statements that are most like themselves, and it's illustrated by a picture each time. So each statement actually represents a certain category in DISC, and the results will be tabulated in the back end, and they'll be shown the results after answering eight sets of questions. Let's keep going. Alright, now it's changed to dominance. So now we see I've changed the profile to SD. Okay. Uh, maybe you give me maybe. I think we don't have a description for that yet. I think Brian, you need to clarify with Chang for no. that description. <laughs> okay, never mind. Go ahead. Uh, can right. you go to the currency or the achievements? Okay, so let me uh, go through these two. So now, uh, okay, how about I play? Uh, yeah, yeah, assessment. you can play. I think, yeah, you can just play. Yeah, probably because, Brian can just explain. Uh, uh, I just so hold on. I'm going to play the post assessment game. No, no, just hold on, just hold on. Maybe Brian mm -hmm. can just explain what's, what's what module is this. Brian, yeah. Okay. So if you want to go back to the game menu page. Okay. So we actually came up with, uh, for this prototype, um, three different modules that we want to focus on together with the SME. Um, we were going to focus on two of the equipments that they're going to be using. So for example, MWAH which is Mass Working at Hype and Gondola, which is represented by popular locations in Singapore. So um, Gondola will be represented by the Marina Bay and Mass Working at Hype will be represented by going to Orchard Road. So if you can see the, as the video told you, the menu is interactive and when once you know clicks on Orchard Road, you can actually go into the different gamelets she'll do now. So each game, each module was consist of a pre-assessment, learning content and a post-assessment to actually sort of understand how much each player learns um, after being exposed to the learning content as well as a multiplayer lobby, which I'll get to later on. So if you want to click on pre-assessment first, and we can show them how the quizzes. And like we not said earlier, um, these gamelets will be unlocked sequentially. So players can't access learning game A without completing pre-assessment and learning game B without completing learning game A. Um, just for the purpose of this demo, we just unlocked everything just to get um, just to get around easier. So go ahead and click play. And this will be to ascertain how much the player knows about working mass working time before being playing our games. So you can see it's an interactive menu. Whenever the player gets a wrong answer, um, <laughs> we have actually a cute um, visual representation at the right hand corner of the player of the avatar either ascending very quickly or getting hit on the head. Which provides a nice visual feedback for the player of how well so, they're doing. So this is for the wrong answer. Okay. So after the player has completed all the questions, he'll be given a score and an indication of whether he how well he has performed on the right hand side as well. Go ahead and click um, quick pre-assessment. Now in the actual app um, learning game A will be unlocked, so you can go ahead and access that. 
and we won't play the full game because it's a bit lengthy, but we'll show you just uh, glimpses of it, um, of how the learning content is delivered through different mini games. Welcome to the training grounds. The work site is a place full of dangers and accidents that are always waiting to happen if you're not careful. That is why Singapore has put in place many measures and regulations to make sure you stay safe. Today, you will be training to work at height, or WAH. Working at height. In any place, whether above or below ground, for which a person could fall from one level to another. Come. Let's head over to the office and introduce you to the manager. As you can see, all our most of the dialogue is fully voiced, and we have two mascots that actually guide the players through the game. Let's Hi, uh, the Regina and Sam, which is all the tiger and the lion, and make sure respectively. All workers are informed of their tasks. You're new here. Let's give you a little test. Do you know how high you must be work? Before we start the mini game, let's look at some of the ways you go about completing them. So Sam is actually focused on safety um, rules and Regina, which is the tiger, is um, actually focused on um, the different regulations you need to follow while working in the construction industry. So we have a little like tutorial here as well for players who are not like super well versed in mobile games. And this is a, just a quick illustration of how they can interact with the different games. You can go ahead to the next slide. Yeah, so this is a very simple mini game. Um, it's just to check whether they are paying attention, and the full the the screen the illustration here is interactive, so you can actually click on what you think the right answer is. Great. Remember, anything that's three meters and above is considered working at height. Working at height can be dangerous. This is what we refer to as a hazard. A hazard is any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work. You have to be vigilant when facing a hazard. Based on what Sam has told you, can you tell me which of the following activities are considered working at height? Okay, and then this one, uh, you know, why don't you just give the wrong answer and then... We have actually um, immediate feedback for the player. As soon as they get the wrong answer, they can actually learn from the feedback and then they can try it again until they get the right answer. And there you go, they show you the right answer. Yeah. So just want to click on those oh, highlighted it. ones. Yeah. And then the player Remember, can keep playing game. Working yeah. at height, even something as simple as changing yeah, a so that's just a taste of uh, different learning game. game. Let's um, go ahead and exit this game. Was not considered you know? working at height. All right. And that's about um about fifteen to twenty minutes of content for each game. Let after that they sort of absorb everything through, and then they can actually go play the post assessment game to find out how much they've learned. And that's right. pretty much um, pretty simple MCQ as well. Um, and they have um, the opportunity to earn different currency in the game, which is the global training tokens, which was explained earlier. Um, then just go ahead and go into the lobby. Yes. This lobby is also actually um, unlocked at the start. And it's actually a casual gamelet where players can hang out, with your friends, chat with one another, and revise previous lesson material pertaining to mass working at height. So I'll go over on my end and try to. Thanks, Brian. So right now I will be going into room two. And players can choose how they want to look like in the multiplayer lobby as well. 
So this avatar will actually impact the profile avatar. So um, we don't actually walk up to any of the NPCs and they will actually have tips and tricks on how to get through this game lit. Um, let's go up to the guy on the mag at the magazine rack. Magazine rack? Um, and I give you a small reminders on how to work safely at height. Actually, in this game, I think you can interact with each and every one. Most of the our dust will be roll. giving an interactable. Yeah. You know, you could also show the leaderboard at the end of it. The, the mini games, is it? No, the leaderboard. Oh, the okay, you click the leaderboard on top. Alright, so this is the game level leaderboard. The module As you can, leaderboard. Hmm, yes, so this is the module leaderboard. So this one will show the total score you have earned in the P assessment, post assessment, and the learning game list. A learning game list is basically the combination of all the learning games. That you have played, just like like learning them A, learning them B, and so on. So till Susi is the top scorer, and I've actually joined the lobby right now, and I have sent a message to Vinod through the messaging system. Can you guys talk over the microphone? Yeah. Um, sure, but I'm not sure if it'll be recorded on Zoom. I want to mute my Zoom. I'm in I'm talking. I'm talking through. Can you guys hear Brian? Thank you. Yeah. Y'all can hear Brian, right? Uh, okay. So cool. So I'm talking to Brian through the Zoom, but he's talking to me through the game. So let me just interact with others. So it's just a a small tip. Uh, on how a good harness looks like. And players can actually just revise and the key A hazard is any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work. So the last feature we also have, um, if the players just want to blow some steam, we have a casual game that they can access at any time. And this one's about zapping viruses. This is a simple casual game we have. Basically to kill the virus. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to play the whole yeah, game. I mean, so. <laughs> a long time, yeah, you okay. can go on. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so this is basically the lobbies. We have lobby for each uh, location uh, for Orchard and Gondola for now. So this is the Orchard MWAH lobby. Yeah, you can go ahead. All right, so now I'm going to play the post assessment and, and I'm going to unlock the Gondola location, which is Marina Bay. So, since I got 13 out of 13 within a given time, they are now awarded this one time uh, reward, which is the $13 GTP. And this ties it back into the reward system that we have going on um, in the currency page. Yes. Gonna, gonna click. And then, so for now, we have played some games in the. in We played pre assessment, we played post assessment. So, but since we did, we quit halfway, they won't be getting any scores for this. But if you go back and you see our currency has been now updated from two to six. So now as you, also as you can see, the Marina Bay is now updated. It's now unlocked. For now for testing for demo purposes, we have unlocked the multiplayer game along with it. 
So, do you have any particular game that, that you like me to demo, Brian? Uh, why don't you just go into the gondola lobby really quickly, just to show. All right. Because every lobby looks different. Um, okay. And then um, after that, we can quickly show uh, Gondola 5, which is the case studies. Okay. Well, let's download it. The big file. So in this case, we modeled um, one of the lobbies of a, similar to one of the malls in Singapore. And they can actually just walk around and explore experience what they like to shop in Singapore and talk to different people. And all the tips here are specific to the gondola module. That's how the tips in the MWH lobby is specific to that learning content. And then we go up to the guy in the cafe. We have another casual game here where you can test their memory with a simple memory match. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. Yeah. You can just exit and then and and this show the, oh, yeah, leaderboard. Go ahead. So this is the leaderboard for Gondola. So again, uh, we have, but here user three have beaten Susie because we have not played any game with you. So now user three is leading in in the gondola game that level. All right, so I'm going to exit the game. I'm going to show them a little bit of game gondola five, yeah. Sure. Are you frozen, Minot? Uh, it's, yeah, it's not okay. Okay, okay. Mm. All right. Welcome back to the training grounds. So this game that well, we aim to be is safe, actually adapted we from real life case accidents. studies. Let's look at past case studies and learn from them. This was January 2019. Four workers were working in a gondola 58 stories high when strong winds blew. Look around to determine what went wrong. Come back to me when you have the answer. And it's up for the player. It's up to the player to go around and inspect what went wrong and try to learn from the previous case studies' mistakes. And once they're done, they can return back and determine the cause of the accident. What do you think caused the? Get it wrong, they'll prompt you the right answer. We'll learn how to prevent the gondola from swaying in the next module. On to the next story! This took place in 2017. Workers were working on the side of the building when it caught on fire. The fire cut off the electricity from the gondola, leaving the workers stranded. Let's see what they should do. So we use a combination of um, comic strips, uh, videos, and the 3D world to sort of immerse the players into the position of what would they do if they were in this um, We should decide ourselves! 
No, we should climb the gondola ropes. Oh, we could enter the window to find a staircase out. How do you think the workers should proceed? It's up to the players to determine how they should get out of this. Help! Can anyone hear us? Nobody came. What should they do next? Yeah, now they're in there. more danger. Wrong Try again. decision. Nobody They'll came. be prompted with feedback. What should they do next? And I think uh, we can just leave it as there. Um, don't want to reveal too much. You guys have to play the game to find out what happened next. One thing for sure is if I'm stuck here, I'm going to die. <laughs> the last thing that we want to show in this demo is um, the multiplayer games. So if you want to go out and get to Sentosa, All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, just one. Moment. If you oh. notice here, just now the lady profile page. Since we were we've been choosing player four all along in both lobbies, player now the avatar have changed from the lady to the player avatar. So this is just to keep them immersed with their gondola lobbies yeah. and the IMW lobbies. It's a real time update whenever the player chooses. Also, the based on their gameplay progress, they will be unlocking some of the achievements. So which one you want to play, Brian? Go to, um, let's show them a, a snippet of the family game and then we'll move to peer-to-peer, -peer, yeah? Sure. You guys uh, want us to be ready for the peer-to-peer? -peer? Me and Sean? Yeah, you can stand by. We, we will we will do the family game first, so we'll show them a little bit of that. So I will be in room three, Brian. Okay, and then you, you'll be player one, I'll be player two, okay? All right, but it's not just limited to player one and two. We have actually have twelve uh twelve of us here to choose. So it's like a list. Game. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is designed to play a family game, so they, we want players to actually have the choice to choose avatars that might look like them. Oops, sorry. Something wrong. Let me start again. Give me, uh, give me a moment, I think that was an asset issue. Let me uh, relaunch the... Or oh, you can just pick player three, right? Oh, no, it's okay. Go ahead. All right. So, Brian, I'm in. Room three, yeah? Yes, room three. Okay, I'm, I'm loading in. All right, I see you. I just want to go so, ahead and approach the exclamation right. mark. So right now, Brian will be teleported into the game game area. Yeah, go ahead, Brian. Can you can you guys tap in the chat and use the microphone? To users will not have Zoom to do. And in the final version, all the multiplayer games will be fully voiced as well. Uh, Brian, can you send any message? Some message? What are you guys cleaning up? Uh, if I'm not wrong, I got the gloves. Uh, can I can I check what happened to the face? Oh no no, because we were spawned in the can, same location. Can, can I check? Yeah, because we we were oh, spawned okay, in okay. the same location. So so Brian, uh, have a two different understand spawn locations. So we were our bodies were entangled in the same spawn point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, understand understand. All right, you All right. were were you referring to that or something else, Ben? Yeah yeah, let, yes, just I'm just it, Brian. Just, just okay, get okay. right. so double check. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's play. So, uh, so right. yeah, we just wanna. So, in this game, it's a casual game. Ten members are meant to play with their um, workers who are the construction workers who are working in Singapore. Learn a little bit more about the sustainability in Singapore. And each player will be given a specific tool, and we have to work around together, walk around the work site, work together to pick up materials. 
for example, Vinod has the gloves and uh, the gloves, and he's yeah. supposed to pick up uh, metal and glass around the worksite. But if he tries to pick up uh, plastic or paper, he's unable to, and that's my job too. So we have to work together, coordinate, find all the different recyclable materials. Wait for Brian, and then we can dump it together. Oh, both of you dump together, is it? Oh, that's such a teamwork. Brian have now collected all the paper recycle points. Oh anyway, yeah, this game is still a little bit. We have just a little bit more to go. Uh, after they collect the items, they will to dump in the bin, and they have to sort out the trash properly. And then they'll be awarded with uh, more tokens. Yeah. So we want to head over to the peer to peer and show them. Okay. All right, so are you guys ready? I want to make sure it's the most updated one that Shaw has uploaded. Yep, that's the most updated. Okay. So, Susie, so, so we're going to play peer to peer now. Peer to peer, okay. I'm, yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. I think I'm using the same user ID. Just hold on. Sure, you can use a player. Oh. I'll use user three. Yeah. Mm, sure. You want to go to room one? Yeah, sure. So same, huh? I'm player four, right? So. All right. Oh, no. I'm player three. I'm going to go in as player two. I'll be four then. OK, someone can play on your phone, please. Vino, do you want to play on your phone? Okay. Is Shaw coming or is he not? Okay. Shaw is here. Shaw is in. I, I can't come in. Oh, oh Shaw, Shaw, do you want to come in as player one? Uh, yeah, I'll use my phone to go in as player one so you can... Maybe you can talk. Because I used the other login and then uh, I'm still in Orchard. <laughs> I have to play all those games to come in there. Unless you want me to come in another. Is someone coming in? Uh, I'm going in. Who's coming on the phone, please? Mine is downloading. Let me pause this for a while. Yes. Uh, yeah, going in, right? Okay. Uh, so, uh, actually, I would like to uh, give oh, a moment. Uh, so see, I'm actually, I, no, I think, no, Shaw is missing. No, I, I am inside. Shaw is in. Uh, yes. I am player four. Shaw is yes. player four. Brian, you? I'm player three. So, you know, you are... Somebody is playing two, two roles, right? 
Yes, uh, Shaw is playing using the same ID, but I can't see. Wait, so it, am I playing the second one? Because I thought you were playing the second one. Okay. No, 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 you're playing player three, right? I'm playing yes. player four. Okay, then who is player three? I'm player. I'm player three. First, I have two player three there. I think we're missing. We're just missing player one. In yeah. This game. Okay, I think someone left. Okay, so is it is it okay if I join? Ah, uh, okay, we are in. All right, you guys can still see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe you want to explain, uh, Shaw or Brian? Yeah, Shaw, can you explain the game? Shaw, can right you explain here? the game, please? Okay, so this is the peer-to-peer -peer learning game. It's also a game to kind of help the workers to revise what they have learned. So throughout the whole gondola, they have went through a few learning gamelets to teach them various skills. So this is where they will come together and apply those skills. So for example, right now, they are just kind of put into the construction site and uh, uh, Regina and Sam just kind of tell them, all right, you know what you need to do, go and do those things. So as the workers, we need to know what we need to do and we need to do those things. So the first step, the first correct step is to head over to the PPE and to put them on. So if the workers neglect to do that, uh, the game will kind of punish them for it. But for now, let's do that for a demonstration. You will see the avatar swap change from the casual to the with the PPEs shortly once all have taken the PPE. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes you'll receive the correct equipment. Sometimes you'll receive an equipment with defects. In this case, we not receive the correct equipment. So if he actually received the equipment with defects, he'll have to play a mini game to identify the defects. So after we have done the PPE, we can choose to head over to the gondola to like kind of board it ourselves, or we could head to the supervisor to see if like he has anything to say to us. So the right option is to head to the supervisor. Can you all do some chatting guys? Peter? Okay. You know, can you yeah. do some chatting? Okay, fine. I think that's enough. Um, yeah, let's go out. Okay. Uh, fine. So, could you want to show the profile and the leaderboard again? Hi. Uh, uh, hi, Susie. Before going up, I'd like to show something. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Shaw and Brian, can you stay? Uh, can I go into room two? Both of you. Uh, you know, just hold on. Just hold on. Let's finish this demo. So, okay. Yeah, just go back. Okay. Just show you a little more. That's it. Okay. Is this the latest avatar you picked? Yes. Okay. Oh, Ben lost the connection. Oh, no. uh, should I answer Yi Chang's question? Which, yes, please. Oh, uh, yeah. So, in this game, uh, we will not immediately tell the player if they have made a mistake. Instead, we want to kind of simulate a real and a real situation where we want to teach them that you know sometimes when you make a mistake, no one will be there to tell you you made a mistake. 
So we'll let them finish the whole experience and only at the end of the experience then we'll show them a little animation of maybe the gondola falling or them falling off the gondola and then we'll explain to them why that happened so that next time when they replay again they will take note of it and make sure not to make the mistake again yeah okay got it thanks sean uh just continue the demo don't need to worry about my question right now yeah okay so uh i would like to show something regarding the the last demos ben's request where okay. the room is so you're full. done right with this demo so i'll just stop this recording okay yeah. ben is not around you know just oh is it okay I'll stop uh, this. Uh, Yichang, I'll stop this recording. Uh. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so meanwhile, uh, which room are we in? Uh, Brian and Shaw, can you all just go into room one and don't do anything? Just go into room one and just choose an avatar and just wait. Call okay. Ben. I just want to end with this. So, let's see. The pilot run, the pilot run, this is the requirement for the pilot run. So, all the users from DTS. Uh, basically, all the workers and the dormitory and the other trainees and trainers need to register using this registration, which is um, enabled for almost a month now. So they have to go into this um, uh, link, the Google form, and uh, fill up their details. So those are the details that gets populated in the profile page. Like if you saw just now when Vinod was demonstrating, my profile did not have um, all the industry and all those details. So the, all those details are collected from this registration form. So once they uh, once they fill up the registration form, and we, it, we process it at our backend and create the user accounts for each users, and then um, we will send them a, a message, either um, a, a normal SMS, uh, because WhatsApp we are having some issues. Um, we are, we actually the plan is to send to WhatsApp as well. So we will do one of this uh, messaging methods to give them the link to launch this GoSafe app. So they can either load the GoSafe app uh, from the APK that we give them or uh, through the Google Play Store. iOS is not there currently because iOS is, uh, takes like around uh, one month for all the review processes. I'm sure uh, iOS would be there for the second uh, pilot review. After they launch the app, we also give them a setup guide, a user setup guide, which will help them to, you know, to launch, um, key in the you know, login you know, credentials and how to open the app, how to download the game, et cetera, et cetera. So all this will be given through a user guide, which we will also be sharing with them. Uh, I'm sure they, most, some of them don't have uh, email addresses. We will either print out a GTS and distribute it to them. Yeah. Or we can, when we have the pilot run on this Sunday, we could also demonstrate it through a PowerPoint slide. Yeah, so some of the some of the users can also play on the Windows computer, which will be set up at their uh, center, on um, at the GTS training center. We will set up the applications on the Windows computer for them for the, some of the users to come down and play play our games. Once they finish uh, playing all the games, we will have a feedback form uh, that will, they have to fill up this feedback form for our, um, you know, um, like a survey form where we can collect the feedback of their knowledge before and after and, uh, you know, various other profiles. So this is what will happen during the go safe home pilot run. Yeah. So this is kind of what we are trying planning for the pilot run this Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. No, I just stopped sharing. I'm. Yeah, and stop recording.